Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Life in Bunker. We don't have enough showers, apparently. You know, let's mark all those things as red. Last episode, we ended with a couple of babies coming out. Uh, you guys are fine. See? You're fine. That one's not even occupied now. How are we doing down here? We kind of started poking our way into the third floor. We still have some stuff that needs to be done in here. Going to queue up some more floors for folks to build, and then I'm going to basically let that third floor sit for a little while. I'm not going to do too much with it right away. We don't have enough janitors, apparently. Hmm. Hmm. There's filth lying around. That's not good. I don't like to see that. Uh, but we kind of really can't take anyone else off of what they're doing. How are we doing over here? I really would like to get rid of this kitchen. You stink. Well, you should go take a shower. Really would like to move it. It's in the way of, well, our lift. Which, I really built all sorts of wrong. The entrances on that side, it's just altogether bad. This is just bad, bad, bad. How are we doing on the waterfront? We could probably use another pump here. No, that one's good, because I've been thinking about building another incubator. So let's just pause here. I'm going to need all those materials, though, for a new reactor, so I don't want to do that just yet. We had some babies pop out at the end of the last episode. We're going to need to cover some basic professions here. So let's cover that and that, and we'll do... I like to do a lot of scientists, just because you never know when you might need another scientist. And we'll queue these guys up. There we go. And then that, theoretically, should help us get some more life into this bunker. We're about to hit 29 cycles. Holy cow. Look at that. The pollution is coming down. We've actually made it more than halfway. Oh, I had a water pipe break, or an electrical cable break, or something break. It's all right. We'll figure it out. They will figure it out. I won't figure it out. Oh, we had another one break up here. That's kind of bad because that's one of our resource machines. That's another one right there. That's why I want to get down into this third floor so badly is I want to make sure that we have the resources necessary to keep this bunker operational. We're going to go hit that one first. I'm hoping we'll be able to get there in today's episode. I don't know. That depends on how many other things go horribly awry. I think that means we have people who are ready to work. Ted and Katie. All right. Ted and Katie, welcome to the party. I'll take care of your jobs in just a second. I want to queue up some more floors. Look at that. They are putting floors down as soon as they tear up the walls. Good work, folks. Excellent work. I do appreciate that. Let's not do that one. We're going to queue those ones up. Try and get them to go through the easier ones. Here we go. All right. That would be our last person who's ready to work. Let's see what we have here. All right. We have another janitor. We could use another janitor. I think we're down to one cook, two cooks now. So we can have, hmm, one, two. We have a lot of people doing food right now. Let's have another engineer. We could use another one of those. That'll give us three again. And then what else do we have going on here? Scientists. So Katie, Katie is either a scientist or a janitor. Um, That'd give us three scientists. I do kind of like having three just because they got to sleep at some point and that kind of keeps someone doing something all the time. Either working in the infirmary, working a research station, or, you know, what have you. Yeah, we're starting to get to the point where we have no oxygen down here. Sorry about that, folks. I keep giving you more things to do, too, so sorry about that. We'll queue up the last two things. will be these two floors right here. So we'll let them take care of these floors, and then I'm going to let them run upstairs if they are so inclined, if they just want to stand there. Oh, you just retired. Good, you just retired. That actually means I need to make sure we have enough workers. One, two, we might need to take someone off of what they're doing and be a worker here. Ooh, we don't have many choices. And yeah, we really need some of these young folks to start working. Hmm. Mm, bummer. All right, Philo, I'm going to have you be a worker for the time being. That's just going to have to be what we do. And I can turn the research station off if we need to. Wow. All right, so we have 27 people going on here. We're not quite at the point where we need to worry about oxygen just yet. Are you guys still hanging out over here? What are you doing over here? What are you doing down here? Get out of here. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. All right, well, if you're not going to go upstairs, then I'm going to give you something to build. Take that. Yeah, I know, that means running a whole lot of cabling. Um, 
I just feel like we need to get them working on this stuff sooner rather than later, so it's going to have to be the case. Uh, crud, that means we need to put the proper flooring down to do that. Oh man, these floors are going to take forever. All this stuff is going to take a long time to get rid of, so let's put it right in the middle right here. I'm looking at all these walls right here. Those are going to take a while to get rid of, so I don't want to do that. Earthquake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fine. You're all fine. And then you're done. Good. You're going to die by Mole Man. Maybe not. Okay, good. Someone came back to take care of this. So let's go and queue up some concrete floors. Concrete floor. And you're going to walk around where this person is working. Man, leave them alone. They're trying to do their job. Snot! You need to go away. Go upstairs. In fact, you know what? Here, let me let me do this. Let's go. Where are all of my people who are not working? I can't keep them off the bottom floor. Ah, fine. Wander around down there and uh -huh. lose your health because there's no air. That's your problem, not mine. I tried to get you out of here. I tried to help you out. You don't want anything to do with it. You're just going to have to deal with it. Wow, look at that. That is a big reactor. Come on. Come on. Ow. Come on. You know you want to. Stop slacking. Slacker. Ah, uh, really? You're going to leave that for this guy to do? Ah, uh, man. You guys should talk with each other. Jerks. All right. We need to build a water pump, so we don't have enough for that. That's going to be 250. We're going to have to kind of wait a while here and let that one work its way out. So I'm just taking a quick look again. We do have quite a few people on food. We're probably going to be fine with food until the end of time at this point because, well, we have a lot of food. And look at that. We have, well, it's pretty good stuff. We have some fish. That's about ready. It was ready to be planted. Those are going to be ready soon. Those are ready for cultivation. Okay, so yeah, we're pretty much pretty much good on that front. Don't have a whole lot of meals stored up in the canteen. That's why they're complaining like they're starving. They're not starving. They have food. Cook just hasn't taken it over to the canteen. That's all. How many cooks do we have? We have one, two cooks. Neither of them are going to retire anytime soon. That's good. I like to kind of keep an eye on that. Yeah, that mini reactor has been constructed. That's good. So we can go ahead and place some more floors down over here, I think. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. And then I'm just going to go ahead and queue those up. I know I'm not really giving them a chance to let the air come back down there. I don't know, regenerate? Is that what air does? Does it regenerate? Oh, look at that. Cycle 30. Boom. Wow. And uh, if you haven't been suffering from disease for a long time, you're fine. Stop whining. Igor is sick. That's it. Everyone else is fine. And Wang. Everyone else is good. You're fine. Oh, man. Where'd they dig it up? Oh, down there. Oh, that means they got the floor. Ah, good. Sorry about that, guys. Here, let's go ahead and put some concrete down. Make sure they're doing okay. They're looking okay-ish. No. Yeah. Ish. You're healthy. You are retired and healthy. I think. Maybe? No, you're working. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, you're vacuuming. Good. Clean those guts up and that garbage. Good job. Let's put some more floors down. We're going to queue that up. I should probably not be doing regular flooring, but too late. I already did. Getting close to 250, so we're going to be able to put down water pump pretty soon. Dan McGivney. Oh, man. Not Dan. I have no idea what Dan did. I really don't. No clue. I remember what Jack did, but not, not Dan. And Jack's been gone for a while now. At least a good couple cycles. How are you guys doing down there? Caught diarrhea? Huh. That sounds unfortunate. I wouldn't want to catch that. I would step aside. Oh, look at that. Our waste is actually going down. We might be able to get rid of this one before too long. That'll be awesome. I mean, I'll just turn it off so that, you know, we're no longer storing it once it gets a little lower, but for right now, I'll just keep it open just because. Uh, let's go ahead and give you a slightly increased service window, and uh, that'll be fine on those. We don't need to go super increased on those. I do think the infirmary should be looked at a little sooner. How are you doing? Are you going for a health inspection? Is that what you're doing? Are you waiting your turn? 
Nope, you're not. Are you? Are you waiting your turn, Dara? Nope, you're not. Let's check downstairs again. Lots of juggling. Lots of juggling. Um, where where are we? Ah, uh, crud, where are we? Come on. Oh, I went too far. That would help if I go down only as far as we really need to. So let's go ahead and put some more floors down. And then we'll let that work. We're going to need still some more concrete, so we'll blow that up. Yeah, you, you just keep working down there, and then I'm going to give you yet more floors to make. Because that's how I roll. There we go. Build some floors. Come on. You're getting there. Oh, look at that. We got some babies. All right, guys. Keep going. You're doing a fine job here. And then you should probably go upstairs until we have the necessary resources to continue. So we have some babies. Ah, this one looks kind of plump. Plumpy. Plumpy, huh? I don't know what plumpy is compared to plump. Um, let's go ahead and queue up. We need, uh, we'll do kind of random. Something like that. Here we go. Are you ready to work? Oh, we have people ready to work. That makes me happy. I like when they're ready to work. And we're not really at the point where we're able to get ahead of the game. We just, as soon as we lose three, we get three more. So that's why I would really like to get another incubator set up. What is wrong with you? Why are you so sickly? What is what is your deal? You are poisoned. Uh, you were probably eating mole man meat because you're an idiot. Everyone knows you don't eat mole man meat. I mean, come on. That's just like basics. Everyone knows that. Don't eat the mole man meat. And then we have, um, here, let's do, let's do another scientist again. That'll be fine. You should go, you should go get that taken care of. You're a scientist after all, a doctor. You can be a doctor anyway. Cooked meals, cooked meals. Those are loaded up. That kitchen is pretty much loaded up. We're going to have to just build another kitchen at some point and then say the heck with it. All right. We have almost enough to do another necessity down here. We're going to need 250 for the water pump. Too bad we can't put something small. I don't know what good the switchboards do. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you could turn things off and on using them that way. Like, kind of set up, you know, turn all of this stuff off or turn all of that off or something. But, hmm, I don't know. I don't really see any use for that at this point. All right, so we have just enough materials. Let's go ahead and rotate you. Hmm, we'll go that way. Sure, why not? Someone will build that. We'll take care of it. How are we doing on our resources up here? Just take a look. That one needs a little work because the cable is broken. I think that's the problem. We have a cable break. Oh, the cable is just flat out gone. Wow. Well, let's rebuild that then. I didn't realize that was the case. I just thought... Someone didn't fix the cable. Let's go upstairs and just make sure we don't have any more cables missing. Those earthquakes must have just flat out destroyed them. I didn't realize that could happen. That's interesting. You know what? Just for the sake of redundancy, let's go and put a cable over there. That'll be fine. And then uh, everything else looks pretty good up here. So let's go downstairs because I saw that trigger that something was built. And then we can go back to our ground floor. We don't have enough to build an air purifier, but if you get out of here, then we'll get a little more air down here, which will be helpful. There we go. We're going to get over there. We're going to get through there. We're going to get an air purifier in there. Might not get to the point where we're ready to run another mining machine. I don't know about that. Looks like these guys are putting in some new cables. That'll be really helpful because we're going really slowly here on our ore, and we need to go open those up before too long. We're down to about 70 ore, so... We don't have a whole lot of resources remaining. We're going to have to do a little bit of tunneling to get to where we need to go. So we're going to need another 50 resources just to build an air purifier down here. And then we're also going to need to chew through the wall. I suppose I could do a small air purifier. There's no specific need to do a big one. But I'm a little concerned about, well, maybe we will do a small one just, just to see how that works out. Kind of like the idea of that. Let's Let's be cheap. Since we're not really doing a whole lot with these floors, except use them for parts. Let's do a small one. What the heck? 
we're not going to have too many people down here. We'll have workers when we're having them mine. But other than that, we're not having too many wander around down there. Is there anyone else who should be working who is not? Just thought I should take a quick check here just to make sure. No, nope, everyone's good. Okay. You all just keep doing what you're doing then. You're doing a fine job. Going on 31 here. Wow. That's crazy to me. That is really crazy. That is really good. Okay, let's just go ahead and move time a little quicker here. We don't need to delay things for the entirety. All right, let's go ahead and queue up some more of this stuff to be destroyed. How are we doing on our garbage front? You're down to 31. You're pretty much empty. More snots. Maturing. Those are going to be ready soon. All right, I'm just taking a look here, seeing what all we have going on. More embryos. I'd still like to get another... Man, we don't have enough space for vegetables. Ah, uh, bummer. Earthquake caused a landfall. Ooh, right there it did, huh? All right, well, let's go ahead and build some floors over there then. Okay, build some floors. Let's just make sure we didn't lose anything. We're good. I bet that's what happened is we had an earthquake and then I didn't realize that it left a hole in the ground and that's why I had a spot over here in the last episode I had to take care of. How are we doing down here? Are there any floors down here I need to cover? Any holes in the ground? It doesn't look like it. I think this one's okay. Let's go downstairs. Let's see how they're doing. They're sort of moving along down here. Okay, let's go ahead and queue those up. We'll get some more workers down here momentarily. Really need them to walk over here so I can see the map a little better. Probably start queuing up some cables as well, because we're going to need some power cables. So let's just start running some of those too. I think that'll be a good idea. Just kind of prepare for it. We're losing people, just as we're about to have more people pop out. Like I said, we're not really getting ahead of the game. 27 seems to be our limit. That's as far as we can get. Let's go ahead and queue up some more of those. And by some of those, I mean some more mining jobs. They'll take care of it, maybe. There we go. We are at the point where we have oxygen stabilized. I guess it is going up a little bit. Not much. Not enough to have a bunch of arrows pointing to it. Hello, cat. Cat came in and started scratching. She does have a scratching post kind of on the ground, so it's cool. She was, she was scratching where she was supposed to. It's okay. Not to worry. Stots. No. Spores. That's what that one is. All right, you guys are just working down there. You're doing a pretty good job. Let's see. Hi, cat. Uh, looks like we have a few folks who are sick, so with any luck, they'll go get themselves looked at before too long. Uh, Philo was the one who needed to be looked at the most, so that's good. All right, you guys are you're working along here. Still going. Still going. And we need more refrigerators still. That's the story of this bunker. But this is where we're going to have to wrap it up. We're actually getting pretty close to our resource vein over here. We'll queue all of that up, and we will continue on with that in the next episode when I think we're going to be able to hit at least that one, if not all three. I'm really hopeful we can hit all three of them. Just depends on how long it takes to build a bunch of floors, because we're going to need those built before too long. Otherwise, we're going to have mole men problems. You know how that goes. So I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to thumbs up, thumbs down. Do consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.